Eminem just dropped the lead single to his album and there's so much to go through. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard the song, but if you haven't seen the music video, you gotta check it out because it really complements the whole song. I was actually live on YouTube when it dropped and someone said to go watch the video because I was just listening to the song and I watched the video and it made the whole song like 10 times better. There's references to old videos and songs and old promo from Eminem, but we'll get into all that in a little bit because first I want to show you this new Music Friday Spotify playlist. This is a huge playlist. You can see right here. 4,100,000 saves, and Eminem's at the very top of it. He'll probably stay at the top of the new release playlist, because, I mean, it's Eminem. And from what I've seen, people are loving this song, and there's not a lot of critiques about it. I mean, just look at this Discord vote. Was the song good, yes or no? 116 said yes, 6 said no. So with all the skepticism about this single and the whole album itself, it's good to see it being taken well. And like I said, the perception of it does seem to be positive. Matter of fact, the only negative thing I could find about it was this Reddit post. Definitely not feeling this new song and hope the album is better. It's not catchy like without me. I think the hook is like one of his most catchy hooks out of the last couple of years. So I don't know what he's talking about with that. If you've been a fan for a while, you've probably seen this picture or at least the music video that this picture was taken from. But he basically recreated it right here with a bunch of different fake M&Ms again. It's pretty cool to see him taking inspiration from a lot of his old work. We're going to see that a lot more in this video. And that's exactly what a lot of us were asking for. Eminem going back to that old persona and using them all. Not just doing the fast paced Eminem, not just doing the wordplay. He's kind of going back to those old goofy flows that we like. So yeah, definitely hoping more of the album has that. Something else that's kind of crazy, I don't know if you guys are on the Eminem Reddit or not, there's a lot of people giving out theories and they're almost always wrong. I mean, they're just theories and speculation about what we do know about Eminem. But this guy posted earlier today, I know it says 50 minutes, but this is kind of an old screenshot. He says, it's a single and it's fire. Hey M, it's Paul, I've been listening to the album. Good effing luck on your own. Guess who's back, back again. This guy doesn't even know what he's talking about, what? And he sends the shush emoji. That was right, so there's an actual leaker in the Reddit. And yeah, effective swan. 5513 was correct. If you don't know why I consider that a leak, that's basically the first sentence of the whole track. I mean, completely word for word. So he knew, he knew it was either leaked or he's on Eminem's team. And it looks like his Reddit account is taken down, which means no more leaks from him. Yeah, I really wouldn't be surprised if this is someone on Eminem's team just doing it to get people to talk about it because they're aware of all the leaks and people that think they know what they're talking about. And this is word for word. Like, this is not just a guess. This guy knew. Yeah, like I said, the song was amazing, but the music video makes it even better. He takes clips from his old videos clips from his old songs you can see right here this deep fake Eminem I think it's deep fake I'll talk about that more in a second but he also shows Eminem like right here this is the real Eminem and it's definitely exciting to see this because it probably means we're going to get more classic work from Eminem more remakes more of the old flows that we do like the old schemes the old disses and like topics that he did rap about the comedy to it looks like we're getting that back on this album but yeah let's go back to the deep fakes I can't play this video because I've already been claimed for it but this is basically old Eminem this looks exactly like him and people in my chat were saying it's CGI other people are saying it's like AI deep fake i know sora ai is like a chat gpt but for video it looks way too good though like when i've tried it with ai it usually puts like six fingers or something completely weird this looks real if you haven't watched the music video watch it because i honestly thought he was dressed up as old slim shady or it was like old footage that they never used looks totally real which then brings up the question i mean look at the still frame right here eminem versus slim shady is that what we're gonna see on this album i mean we know technical wise like rapping skill wise the new eminem is better even if we don't like the flows or like the beats as much but just throwing this out there what if it's eminem versus slim shady rap battle and that's the death of slim shady obviously just complete random theory no proof to that at all but it'd be very interesting to see that because new eminem and old eminem would take different approaches to a rap battle but i think ultimately the new eminem would win and you just know if he did do that all the other alter egos would come into play and the whole thing would be a story and it'd be entertaining but look at this right here if you go to shop.eminem.com his official website you can see a countdown now this countdown says six days 22 hours i'm recording this right after the single dropped like an hour and a half after the single dropped basically saying next friday you keep scrolling down you see two things you see placeholder album art this is for the death of slim shady coup de gras the official album just a placeholder we don't know the official art but for 13 dollars, you can get the digital album and a bonus track i don't know if the cd would have the bonus track when that does come out don't know that at all yet but yeah this is limited edition one week only it says bonus track is only available on eminem.com but i think that means any album you buy on eminem.com would have the bonus track like if you bought the cd from his website i think you'd get the bonus track right i mean it wouldn't make sense to only give it to the digital album that would just make people want to burn it and pirate it so yeah that's what we see about this right here album will release in summer 2024 we already knew that but kind of disproves the people saying that it was going to come out in may no it's coming out this summer we can go back to this page scroll back down and there's a limited edition rap boy zip hoodie this is from the music video, right? This is from Without Me and the music video that he just made. Custom made hoodie, zip up. I'm not getting it. But just like the CD, exclusive to his website, exclusive to the Eminem store, and it's only one week. After that one week, the hoodie is unavailable. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's worth something. But yeah, ships on or before August 9th. I know it's a pre-order, so that's kind of expected, but that seems like a long time from now. If you remember in the last video, the white t-shirts were shipped on the same exact day 
as the single came out it said may 31st you'll get the white t-shirts or before that august 9th you'll get the hoodie so i'm wondering if that's like the same hint at album august 9th or around there just like he did with the white t-shirt i mean it's always possible but if you go back let me go back one more page there is a countdown right here six hours 22 minutes i know that's a countdown to the end of the merch but i'm wondering if something else will replace this if there's anything important that'll happen a week from now a week from now would be a friday so if you were to drop another single or maybe another part of the album or maybe the album itself and it was next week it would be at the end of this timer because that would be friday if you do keep scrolling down you can add your email right here and just get updates to the album probably quicker than i can make a video on them and you can pre-save it on spotify so you have it ready as soon as it does come out but yeah that's all the updates on his website another weird thing if you remember in the last video if you searched up eminem houdini on google it would come up with role model right and we kind of tied that back to the upside down water escape trick but now if you search the same exact thing eminem houdini right here taking my ball from relapse but then right below it it has the houdini official music video so i don't know if google's messed up or if they did this on purpose doesn't really make sense but yeah i just figured i'd point that out reading through the genius page pretty interesting you can see the houdini cover right here red curtains tuxedo kind of like the eminem show cover scroll back up you can kind of see it right here same artist made this tuxedo you can see a similar art style which i thought was kind of interesting it's kind of like a comic book the promotional poster but the hook to the single was so good i know most of you probably didn't see my reaction but I have my brother right here, and the hook came on, and we were bobbing our heads. We loved it. Seems like a lot of people like the hook. It seems really catchy. It's stuck in my head completely right now. And yeah, that was one of my favorite parts, alongside with all these old hints and the music video. The whole thing was so good, though. But yeah, my stream, as you can see right here, was totally blocked. We were re-watching the music video to see what we missed, and it just completely blocked out. The chat blew up with people saying it was taken down. And yeah, totally worth it, to be honest. It was awesome having you guys in the chat telling me things that I missed, things I should check out. I would tell you to re-watch it if you missed it, but I think it's blocked in most countries, so so, oh well diving back into some of the artwork this is on a short that eminem posted just a youtube short played a part of the song it was just a snippet to get people hyped up after the song did come out but it's a new art style that we haven't really seen yet i'd expect to see more of this on the album right like this whole houdini it's like its own font i've never seen a font like this with the eminem logo above it most of the time and yeah i mean it's the same as this right here you can see eminem logo houdini I honestly love it. I love this art style. I know we talked about it with that artist a second ago on the Genius page. Only thing I would change is just make it more simple. There's so much going on with like the glow, the saber, these little flying demon things, floating mic, you know, hockey mask, tuxedo, hat, card, three different lines of sentences, and two stickers at the bottom. But on the other side, I just love the way it looks. It all like flows together, even though there's so much going on. So I'm kind of torn. Let me know what you guys think about this cover. Another cool thing right here, you can see the Super Bowl 56 halftime show, which is a couple years ago at this point. Slim Shady and Eminem kind of like rapping against each other with making words float in the air like that. And it kind of feels like that was teasing at this album. I mean, it's Eminem, Slim Shady kind of like battling, I guess you could say, against each other. And that makes me feel like he's been working on this for a long time and he's going to be proud of it. He's put a lot of time into this project. And if it's anything like that single, it's really gearing up to be a great album. Like I said, I want to see more Shady versus Eminem. I want to see more of the alter egos, which is exactly what he did in this single. Having that deep fake of the old Slim Shady looked really, really good. That's assuming it's deep fake, by the way. I have no clue how he did that. Now, most of us know how inactive Eminem is on social medias, unless he's promoting an album. Like, besides all this promo for the album, he hasn't really posted on his story, liked any posts, commented at all, made any posts himself. That's why it's interesting SZA made a post, you ever just cover Eminem for feels, and Eminem responds with the shocked emoji. Like, I know it's such a small thing, but when you're never active and you do just a shocked emoji, it just stands out, I guess. And if he's acknowledging SZA and he doesn't acknowledge anyone else, maybe SZA's on the album. Don't really know though. Just kind of a cool hint. I'd like to see SZA on the album. She could probably make a good hook and sing the chorus to a song. But yeah, I mean, like I said, if you have not watched this music video, go watch it because there is so much. I mean, even this still frame right here, a portal from 2002 has opened up in the city and you can see Slim Shady walking through it. It doesn't look like CGI. It doesn't look like AI, but there's no way they got that exact look without it. And there's even complete 3D models. They look like video games. All that worked together to make a great looking music video. And all it did was get me more hype for this album. But yeah, that's just some of the stuff that we learned about this new single. Great listen. Go check it out if you haven't already. He had some awesome double entendres that were very slick. They weren't like the new Eminem where it was all in your face and kind of forcing you to get the double entendre. But he was able to kind of like slide it into the beat and catch those pockets that he used to catch. And alongside that, he was able to throw in some comedic bars. He said like he'd hit an eight-year-old in the face with a trophy. Something completely random, but it flowed with the scheme perfectly. And that's exactly what we want to see, or at least what I want to see. Let me know if that's what you want to see down below. But thank you for watching. If you want more Eminem videos, click right up here. I've got a playlist full of brackets, rankings, tier lists, all of that. I go live occasionally, so check that out if you want. There's a Discord down below. Plenty more information to come, and when it does come, I'll be sure to make a video on it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Peace out.